and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. So last time we unlocked the last of the three towns, Tsuyukusa. Tsuyukusa. Actually, I think it's Tsuyukusa. Well, whatever. Anyways, we've unlocked it. We also unlocked a couple new crops. A couple new crops I don't really have the money to buy right now. So yeah, that's gonna be our first priority. We're gonna need to make some money. For now, though, let's actually take care of our farm work, the thing we kind of neglected, exploring the new town. Uh, I want enough money to basically buy myself another field. That's going to cost 10 dry, or not dry lumber, uh, dry soil. And then we're going to have to actually buy the field from Ludus. Yeah, we're going to need to work towards that. We'll work on that later. For now, let's just make sure all the crops are getting watered. Plus, we also want about 1,200 for another watermelon seed. Because watermelon are a type of crop, and we need to raise three of them. So far, we've raised one, in the form of grass. Uh, once our tomatoes come in, we should be good on that front. And then the other crops, which I don't remember how long these take to grow. I remember them taking a while, though. We might want to try getting a second watering in today, just to make sure they grow faster. Uh, we'll see. Also sounds like all the animals are out right now. And at some point I do need to go into town and actually check out the part-time jobs. Now that we've unlocked all three towns, we should have plenty of part-time jobs we can do. I do want to get Tsuyukusa up to about rank D, like, before the end of the season. Actually, because of that, I'm actually going to switch over to them real quick for a while. Or not real quick, but we are going to switch over to them for a while. That's West Town. That's not where we want to ship yet. We want to ship there eventually, but not right now. Alright, everything's watered. Let's fertilize. I will switch over to West Town once I gather about 30 crops, which shouldn't take too long. Actually, that might take a while. It might be in our best interest just to, like, wait a few days, or, like, wait until we have it all at once and then switch over to West Town, and then just ship it on one day. Just so that we'll be able to ship to the other towns for a while and get those town rank points. Either way, we need money. And we're gonna make money. Via animals. Because right now our crops are gonna still, it's gonna be a while before they're ready. I might not want to buy two fields, actually, now that I think about it. Also, where's my alpaca? There's my alpaca. Also, I just realized you don't have any food. Let's fix that. We have plenty of fodder. Oh, did I cut down the grass yet? Uh, I'll check later. Also, it's a bit late in the day. They do get stressed out if you leave them indoors for too long, like sheep and other animals, but... Yeah, we might as well just leave them inside today. And I don't think I brushed them yet, did I? Nope. Let's take care of that right now. We'll be sure to let them out tomorrow. Also, we kind of need food. Whoops. You know what? Let's head to the tea house. We haven't eaten there yet. Yeah, let's head over to the tea house real quick. Oh, wait. Let's check on the chicken first. Uh, you should be fine. Yeah, you're fine. While we're at the tea house, we can also check out the part-time jobs. I don't think there's anything... Uh, from what we saw earlier, I don't think there's anything super important we can do today. Oh, I didn't check if there was a test subject job. If there is, we could try that and just get a bit of stamina back. Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, first things first. Off to the tea shop. Hello, why are you standing in the middle of the path? That was... Random. I don't have a special attack either. That's not that type of game. Alright, so what do we have? Uh, what can we do? Woodcutter, waterer. I don't really want to do a whole lot with West Town right away because we're still locked over there. So anything we do won't really, you know, benefit us in the long run. We could do a couple of these. How about shipping? Can we do any of these yet? No, not yet. Here, I think I'll take care of these in a minute. First things first, let's get some food before they close. I think the tea house stays open later, but uh, just in case.
Oh yeah, we could also buy recipes if we wanted to. I don't really want to right now. Just because I don't have the money to right now. Ooh, strawberry shaped ice sounds really good. We can't afford those. Rice crackers. So yeah, all this food is like, uh, Asian themed. Let's get some rice crackers. Also, depending on the type of food, it will actually determine where you eat it. So like snack foods, you'll actually go outside and eat on the bench for some reason. I don't know, seems like a pleasant place to eat. Even though we didn't actually eat there, we just kind of, you know, just sat next to it and absorbed the nutrients that way. The one thing I do like about the tea house though is that the food here is relatively cheap and restores a lot of stamina. Alright, well let's get going. At some point I do want to head to Lulu Coco too, just to see everyone. Vidyan? Have we gone over there today yet? No, no we haven't. I remember now. Uh, because we kind of spent all morning here. Speaking, uh, speaking of spending all morning here, let's buy a few things. Because we are going to need that dry soil. Here, let's grab... Let's, ooh, no, not that many. Let's grab four for now. We'll grab the rest later once we have more money. It was ten to get a new field, right? Actually, we can just head over there right now and check. Never mind, I just realized what day it is. Well, we can head over there anyways. We got plenty of apricots. I think people that we're trying to befriend like apricots. Like the sisters and Ludus. Let's go see if we can find them. Uh, it's Sunday, so the beachside bar should be open. I have no idea where Ludus is, though. I can just check the big map, but... Let's just wander around and see if we can find him. Actually, wait, where is he? He's somewhere up north. Apparently, we completely missed him. Uh, I'll go find him later. Anyways, where are those apricots? Here we go. You know what? I'm actually going to register these so we can get them to them uh, pretty quickly. So here's one for you. Here's one for you. And then we have one for Ludus. I think he's probably at the inn at this point. He might have... Oh, he might have been having lunch, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, there he is. Anyways. Uh, where are those apricots? Here is your apricot, Ludus. Uh, he doesn't love it, but he doesn't hate it. That's important. Alright, uh, let me see. Are the avocados good? Avocados are good. Alright, let's do a few part-time jobs before the end of the day. We have plenty of stamina, so we might as well. Although a lot of that stamina is going to be saved up to uh, use at home. Alright, so what can we do right now? Uh, let's help out with some wood cutting. I'm just going to do all the part-time jobs that aren't like courier services. Those just kind of take too long. Plus, it's kind of near the end of the day, too, so I don't think we really have... Oh my god, 20 pieces of wood. This is gonna take a while. But yeah, it's a kind of late-ish in the day for uh, this town, unfortunately. Since they close so, so early, you have to take care of career jobs here pretty quickly. Or at least before noon, to be safe. Otherwise, they might close on you and you just can't do it anymore. And since it's almost like three, yeah, it's a bit too late. We could also go mining, but I want to hold off on that for now. Also, since uh, Suyakusa also has all the basic crop necessities like Westtown does, we're probably going to be doing a lot of our shopping here instead of Westtown for a while. Simply because, like I said, we need that town link rank up. There are just so many good things hidden behind the town link rank for this town. Alright, more part-time work. Let's do it. We have two more we can do. So, uh, what were the other ones? Weeder and water. Yep, let's water a few things and then I guess we'll help with the weeding. And then we'll head home. I wish I had enough money to buy some recipes that would really give us a boost to our town link. Uh, but unfortunately, like I said, I have no money. And you kind of need money to, you know, buy things. Money can be exchanged for, exchanged for good and goods and services. 
I completely screwed up that line. All right, well, at least we're getting some money. Also, if it wasn't Sunday, I would be trying to see if I can squeeze in enough money to get that field, but uh, since Ludus is closed today, we can't really get it. Honestly, I probably should have bought that earlier now that I think about it. Oh well. Also, we should probably head home soon. Uh, I need to get everything in the shipping box before they come and pick it up. Gotta get those very few points in with uh, Lulu Coco before we switch over. Because yeah, Lulu Coco is also a town that we're gonna need to get up. We need it at least rank B by the mid, by like summer of year two. For reasons. And by reasons, I mean seasonal reasons. But we have plenty of time to do that. Plus, at the rank, er, rank, rate we're going, we should be good to go in that regard. Also, where are the last four weeds? Are they hidden in the grass? Oh, they're hidden in the grass. That's annoying. Alright, we have two more somewhere around here. I see one. Where's the last one? Oh, wait, there it is. But yeah, at the rate we're going, we should be good in terms of town rank. And we get to keep the weeds. Like always. Alright, let's head home. How are we doing with this town anyways? Yeah, we're making pretty good headway. So Yakuska tends to just raise higher, or not raise higher, tends to raise faster than the others just because of how much money I tend to spend there. Honestly, spending money is probably the biggest way to raise a town link. That's kind of why Lulu Coco is just so slow. There's not a whole lot that you need to buy on a daily basis there. Because they don't sell animal products or like normal seeds for the most part. Alright, let's go get the milk. We didn't have the stamina to do it earlier, that's right. Let's try to get this before they come and pick up the shipping, because I think we have like half an hour to do that. And I kind of need the money. Okay, let's go. Okay, good, they're not here yet. Alright, well, milk and milk. And there's nothing else I can ship right now. Nothing else that I want to ship right now. Alright. But we'll let the dog take care of the animals and put them inside. Oh, I do still need to brush them all, don't I? You know what? One day without brushing won't hurt them. Actually, it would make them really stressed out. Let's actually brush them. Gotta make sure they're nice and happy. Let's take care of the sheep and the alpaca too. Because I want them to like me a lot. Because the happier they are, the better wool they give me. And wool sells for a lot of money. What is it with this sheep? No matter how long I brush, it never gets cleaner. I'm not even losing any stamina off this. I think I just broke something. I remember that happened with cows in my... Where are you going? That happened with the cows in my original playthrough. Just for some reason, I could just infinitely brush them and... Nothing would happen. I mean, they were getting brushed. I got the low icon and happiness stuff, but... Yeah, it was weird. Alright, so let's go for a quick walk. I do want to also grab a second animal at some point, but right now we can't afford it. Right now we can barely afford the animals we have. Oh, speaking of affording the animals we have, uh, we do still have pet food, right? Yeah, we're, we have, uh, well, not plenty of pet food, but we have pet food. Oh, right, let's also grab the crop, or not the crops, the, uh, fodder. How are we doing in terms of crops anyways? Oh, since we watered them so late in the day, we're probably not going to get a second watering in today, unfortunately. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's go work on that tree instead. Where'd it go? That's not the tree I want. Oh wait, no, we already cut down that tree. That's right. We do need to still work on these logs, or not logs, uh, rocks. I want to get rid of the one over here just so I can build in this quarter of the field. Alright, you know what? Let's work on it. We should be able to get like a, at least a couple swings in before we pass out. 
Okay, yeah, that's enough. Uh, do I want to try passing out today? No. Let's not say we did. Let's just head to bed. Oh, we got an event. What the? Oh, the tailor. We talked to you. Or we talked. Yeah, we did talk to you before. Or at least I talked about you. I'm pretty sure they've introduced tailoring to us before, but I guess we're going to get a tutorial anyways. Yes, I did that like half a month ago. I think this event is supposed to trigger when you upgrade your house, but since we did relatively early... I guess we just get the tutorial now, now that we've unlocked the tailor. Alright, so let's learn about clothing. Right now we have none. Well, other than the fact... Other than the clothing that we're wearing right now. Alright, time for an early morning tailoring service. I forget if they give you the materials to make, like, one piece of clothing. I don't think they do. But yeah, we've already been here before. And we need materials. Materials which I can't really afford right now. White cloth is the cheapest, honestly, because you can grab it from, uh, where is it called? Oh, uh, you can just grab it from West Town. And we get it for free. I think she does give you just enough to make a piece of clothing. And yeah, all three towns have clothing that you can buy. West Town and Lulukoko have clothing. Apparently, Ludus is the tailor of that town. That being said, we could possibly get some clothing from Lulukoko. And yes, I do have a sheep. And an alpaca. So yeah, you get you get a cloth from wool by processing it in a textile mill. The problem with the textile mill is that it's super expensive and the materials for it are actually really rare, so we're probably not going to be getting that until fall at the earliest. Even then, we might not be getting that until winter, honestly. We don't really need it, but it does help. Also, I think we already have uh, cloth unlocked in West Town. And yeah, it takes a day to make a piece of clothing and you have to pick it up yourself. They don't deliver for some reason. Actually, couldn't you ask me to deliver through part-time jobs and then I can just take it immediately? Actually, that's pretty much just me picking it up in person, so never mind. Although we would get paid for it. Alright, so how much white cloth did she actually give me? Oh, she did give me five. I think I'm going to go take a visit to Ludus today. I want to see how much it's going to cost me to, like, make another piece of clothing. I think it's going to cost a couple thousand gold, so we might have to wait. Oh, and the hair salon is open today. We, uh, you know what, no, that's, we'll do that at some other point. Right now, we don't need a new haircut. We're, plus, we're wearing a hat anyways. And then, okay, yeah, all the new stuff is available now. Awesome. So yeah, let's actually try out our new closet, or relatively new. We've actually had it for like a month now. Well, half a month. But we really haven't had a chance to use it just because we don't own any other clothing. So, unfortunately, no, you can't go naked in this game, so no taking off your clothes. You can take off your hat, though. Our hair looks... We have hat hair. You know what, I'm just gonna... You know what, no, I'm gonna leave the hat off. Actually, no, that looks so weird after being with the hat for so long. I'm going to put the hat back on. And we don't have any glasses. So, yeah, we need to buy some new clothing at some point. We'll do that later, though. Right now, let's get to work. Also, wait, what mail did I not read? This is all red. Oh, okay. That was weird. Oh, hey! The trees are growing nicely. Alright, so let's do one more day of juicy fertilizer. And then we'll switch over to Sugary. And then after that, we'll just focus on our main tree again. So like three days of each should be enough to survive at least two storms easily. 
Actually, I think for every bag of fertilizer you use, you can pretty much survive a single storm. Also, my tomatoes are done. Speaking of tomatoes, how good is this tomato right now? It could use work. Alright, more... Wait, what the... Let me check that real quick. Okay, it is color. For some reason, I saw that as sweetness. Alright, more fertilizer. And more water. I want to see if I can squeeze in that second watering in today. Just because I do want these things to grow faster. Although the tomatoes don't really sell for very much. And I think I'm going to wait on selling those for now. Just because I could really use the crops to sell the West Town eventually. Also, the thing about tomatoes and most reoccurring plants is that you don't get nine for every harvest, you just get one. But they make it up by just being re uh, reoccurring. So unfortunately, we're not going to be getting a ton of tomatoes out right away. If I put more propagating fertilizer on it, though, we could get a bunch. But I can't really afford that right now. Oh, speaking of affording, affording things, we should probably head over to, uh, to Yakuza sh soon, shouldn't we? I want to grab some more dry fertilizer. Not fertilizer. Dry soil. Because I think we could probably squeeze it. Not squeeze. Uh, we could probably afford another field today. Problem is, we don't have enough stamina to actually, you know, use it. Because we're going to have to till it. And in this game right now, tilling takes a lot of stamina. Oh, and at some point we should also uh, go mining, because we did skip a day. Maybe we'll find some rare gems. Actually, if I find any gems today, I'm selling them, because we need the money. Alright, everyone. Out you go. Come on. Let's go outside and enjoy the nice sunshine. Why can I not push you without just veering off to the side like that. Here we go. Oh, are you ready to be sheared again? Oh, you are ready to be sheared again. That's a milker. We do not cut wool with a milker. That would be really slow and probably very painful. Also, I need food again. I really need to lighten up my tools. Also, is that two pieces of doo-doo in a row? Or is that just one big piece? Nope, that's two. And do I have any food on me? No. No, I don't. Alright. I guess I'll take care of the other animals later when we get back. Uh, I'm gonna run to the tea house real quick and grab some food. Probably another rice cracker. Because those are cheap. And, you know, cheapness is kind of good. Plus, I restore my stamina fully right now because we only have five hearts. Yeah, let's go get some food. We'll come back and take care of the rest of the animals later. Plus, while I'm there, I can just grab the soil and then just swing right over to Ludus. Actually, I want to go check with Ludus first. I want to make sure that we need 10 soils and I wasn't imagining things. It's Monday, so he should be open. Alright, so let's grab some food. Actually, we could try something new. Here, you know what? Let's try some, uh... Yeah, let's try some rice balls. I'm sorry, jelly donuts. Let's try some jelly donuts. Everyone loves a good jelly-filled donut. Also, I kind of expected this to be an outdoor food. Actually, from what I remember, this doesn't restore that much stamina. No, it doesn't. Uh, we would have been better just getting the rice crackers. Not only did they give us an infection boost, but they also actually restore all of our stamina. Not sure why the rice balls are more expensive. Oh well. But yeah, before I buy that soil, I'm gonna go see Ludus real quick. Uh, 9.50. He should be open soon. I think he opens at 10. Oh wait, is he open already? Actually, while we're here, I'm not sure how much you like these, but every little bit helps. I just want to be your friend, Ludus. And because I'm your friend, I'm going to buy from you. So let me see, how much does this cost? 
Uh, 300? Yeah, it's 10. And we can afford that once we get some. We bought four earlier, so we just need six more. And I don't want to dismantle anything. Alright, so, what else can I do here? Oh, right, tailoring. How much is it going to cost me to grab some new clothing? Ooh, those look nice. Those look... Okay, let's not grab those. Oh, uh, nah. Those do look kind of nice, but nah. I want that. I so want that, but we don't have the cloth for it. I just want the Moo Cow shirt. Hats. Yeah, we could grab the work clothes, but how much is it? Yeah, 2000 That's a lot less expensive than I thought it would be. Alright, so, new plan. We're gonna save up for some work clothes. Oh, I didn't check what part-time jobs we can do. I'll check that in a bit. Oh, we're over here. It's apricot time. I just realized we just burned through all of our apricots. Whoops. Uh, ignore that. It's fine. It's just a little dirty. It's okay. So what if I tossed it five feet in the air? Yeah, that thing is probably bruised like crazy now, but eh, she still likes it. Alright. Let me go see what part-time jo jobs we can do. Uh, if we have one we can do, we'll just use it to warp back over. Because I want to buy some dry soil. Harvester, harvester, harvester. Item couriers. Oh, I can do that one. Uh, Ford. I don't want to go up. You know what? Fine. We'll do all of these, but we should probably do it now. Oh, two eggs. I only have one. How about other shipping? No, that's it. Alright, so let's use... Actually, we can only do harvester to warp over there. So we're gonna need to go pick up those packages. And then I guess we're making a trip to West Town at some point. Alright, well, we're done harvesting. You know, this would be a lot harder if you guys actually made more than one big field. It's not even a big field, it's just one field. One field with two plots. Alright, well we did a part-time job. I feel good now. How are we doing with our town link anyways? Eh, decently. It's only been a day, so that's actually pretty good progress for a single day. Oh wait, I don't need to part pick up any more jobs right now. Like I said, I'm not gonna really bother with West Town jobs yet. Not until we can get that lock off. Uh, we need 30 crops for it though. And we unfortunately unlocked it, or we got the lock like right at the end of a season, so it's gonna be a while still. Alright, so let's grab the packages. One was for Saluka, one was for Ford, and the other one was for Megan, I believe. We'll go get those delivered. Also, I forgot. They're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Alright, we're going to West Town. Time to go buy some dry soil from West Town then. And then we'll head back over to Mumu Coco. I thought I forgot about something. Yeah, I forgot they were closed on Tuesdays or Mondays and Tuesdays. Kind of weird days to close, but okay. Oh, yeah, actually, no, wait, no, that's iron. Oh, that's two pieces of iron. I think we're still lacking in copper, though, but still, two pieces of iron. I think we only need one more to upgrade the hammer, plus, like, three pieces of copper. I'll check that when I go see Ludus again later. Alright, so let's grab dry soil. I have six, or I have four. Let's grab six of those. <clears throat> And then, that's everything I need for now. Let's go check the other mining point before we warp over. Oh, wait. Let's also see Ford. He's right here. We have a package for him. I don't know what it is, but he apparently ordered something, so here you go. Please talk to me. Alright. Well, that's one delivered. And then we have to go see Megan... Also, I just realized what time it is. We could go have lunch with, uh, Frank. The free stamina restore would be nice. Here, yeah, you know what? Let's go grab lunch with him real quick. Right after we're done hammering. Rocks. 
Rocks and a brick. Okay, this one sucks. Yeah, okay, fine. Well, one mining spot was okay. We got a gemstone, which we're gonna sell for the money. And then we got iron. Actually, two, two pieces of iron. So all in all, not horrible. But yeah, let's get that stamina restore. Yep, we will eat with you. What did you make today? I'm guessing... Oh, I'm, it's probably not pizza. It looks like... I don't know what that is. Most of these dishes are actual foods you can make in-game, but I don't know what that is. Aw, he adopted a stray. That's cute. I bought mine. It probably would have been cheaper if I had adopted a stray, but unfortunately this game won't let you. Even though I'm pretty sure there are like a couple dozen stray animals just wandering around. Oh well. Also wait, where's Megan? She's not in her house. Where is Megan? She in West Town or like a uh, downtown West Town? I don't see her face anywhere. Oh wait, there she is. She's around here somewhere. Let's zoom in. Nope, come on. Wait. Oh, Hinata's over here. He's not who I'm looking for. I'm looking for Megan. Wait, did we just, just completely pass her in the general store earlier? Nope, there she is. Alright, so that's all the packages in West Town delivered. Now we have to head over to Lulu Coco. Because San Luca has a package, and then we need to go see Ludus about a field. And then we need to head home and take care of everything and get the milk. I just realized we didn't milk yet, so we're not going to get that shipped out if we don't hurry. Yeah, let's head back over to Lulu Coco. Uh, let's help empty the fish traps. Then we'll have to see Saluka, get her package to her, then buy the field, and then yeah, we're gonna rush home. I'll worry about the field later, after we take care of the crops and all the uh, chickens and stuff, or not chickens, and all the cows and stuff, because we haven't brushed them yet. I really need to lighten up my tools. We did lighten up the watering can, which helps, but... Actually, yeah, where is all of our stamina going? Oh wait, that's right, we got two new animals. You know what? Lightening up the brush might not be a bad idea. I'm not really sure how you make a brush lighter, but apparently you can. Via metal. I don't... I have no idea how that works, but it does work. Anyways, here's your package. Alright, let's go see Ludus. Yeah, let me double check what we need to uh, like lighten up our, our uh, brush. I think it's the exact same no matter what the tool is, though. So we're probably going to need to burn our iron if we decide to do it. Alright, so farm circles. Make me one more field, please. Thank you. And then let me see, tool modification. Actually, how much is it to get our, act, our hammer back up? Oh, we need one more of each. Alright, well that shouldn't be... I was gonna say that should be too hard, but then I remembered my luck so far. Yeah, that might take a while. Yeah, we need black rock and iron. I don't want to use my iron on it though yet. All right, well, now we know. Let's head home. I wanna see if I can get those watermelon seeds in the ground today. Cause the sooner we can get those in the ground, the better. Cause I know that Saluka loves watermelons. And plus, since we're growing them ourselves, we won't have to worry about uh, burning all of our money in town. Apparently, Ludus likes flowers, from what I hear. We might try giving him one tomorrow. Or he might like those beach-type flowers. Or he might like the quills that we've been finding. I guess we'll experiment with him. That sounds weird, saying it out loud. But yeah, we'll try different things to see what he likes. Alright, so let's grab the... That is not how you get milk. That's how you get milk. Let's grab the milk. Kind of weird you can't milk them by hand, but I guess the milker is, like, just more efficient in this game. Either that or we just don't want to touch the other udders. Who knows? Also, let's get this place cleaned up. If we leave it dirty for too long, I think they get stressed out. 
And a stressed animal is kind of bad, because that means they can get sick. Alright, everyone looks good. Oh, we didn't talk to them yet. Let's do that. Who's a good cow? You're a good cow. Who's a good cow? You're also a good cow. You're an alpaca. And you're just a sheep. Well, not just a sheep. Sheep are people. Or, I was going to say sheep are people too, but no, no, they're not. Alright, so let's see if we can get that field down. Let me see. Can I squeeze in the chicken coop right here? Oh, yes, I can. That means we can squeeze in the field right here. Also, we do still have two barns available. I am saving those for two other types of animals we can get later. But I just need to remember that, yes, we do have those available, and I'm not going to disassemble them quite yet. Alright, so let's get one field prepared. There we go. Well, that only took down quite a bit of our stamina. That's fine. I just want these watermelon seeds in the ground. Oh, the soil is starting to dry out. Awesome. Uh, actually, wait one second. Do I have food? Also, let's actually get all this, all this stuff uh, shipped out. So, milk. I'm going to save the tomatoes until later. Because I want to save those to uh, ship to West Town to get that... Ta to get that lock off. I cannot talk right now, apparently. Wool and egg. Alright, that should be a good amount of money. I wish we could sell this claw. It's worth 500 a piece, but no. I need to be strong. I'll just sell one piece of butter. I need to be strong in terms of claw. Just because I need to keep that so I can make myself a new outfit. So let's get as much of this water as we can before we pass out. Because unfortunately I don't have any more food on me. I should buy a bunch of flour and just make bread. Hmm. I don't know if I can squeeze in one more. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. We're done. In terms of, uh... We are done in terms of watering for now. Let's get the animals inside. I'm going to trust you, Hank, to get the other animals in. Okay, fine. I'll take the alpaca. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Is the alpaca going inside? No, stop running away from me. Why are you running away from me? I kind of forgot alpacas did that in this game. I just want to help you get inside the barn so you won't get stressed out by staying outside in the cold, dark night. Actually, it's summer right now, so the nights are probably relatively pleasant. Also, I need to buy some chicken feed tomorrow. Alright, let's head to bed. I don't have the stamina to do anything else today. And I don't have the money to uh, buy more stamina, basically. Hi, Hank. I already hugged you, right? Yep, I hugged you. Also, that white shirt has kind of been hanging there for like a month now. Uh, at this point, I don't know if we want to bring that back inside the house. It's honestly probably caked with dirt and just completely faded in the sun. Actually, that shirt was probably not white in the first place. Also, cooking. Time to participate in the cooking exhibition. I was going to say that's a spoiler, but bottom screen. Alright, let's learn about it. So yeah, the cooking exhibition is held twice a year, uh, summer and winter. We are definitely going to participate in that one. And yeah, since it's beginner, like always, there's absolutely no theme. We can make whatever we want. I'm kind of debating whether or not we want to do a full course or not. Honestly, we probably shouldn't, just because we don't have the materials to do it. Oh, it's raining today. Awesome. Then again, with the right... With the right, uh... What is it? Recipes. We might be able to pull that off. Actually, no, I don't think we have, like, the right ingredients or high-quality ingredients to do it yet. We're just going to do single course for now. For the winter one, though, I'm hoping we can try to get in a multi-course one. Uh, we'll have to see what the theme is for that one. But that can wait till next time. 
Actually, that can wait until several next times, considering it's only the 7th of summer. So, next time on Let's Play Trio of Towns, more money making. More money making. So, till then. Oh, this field is empty. I need to fill it in as soon as possible. Actually, we could buy some flowers. We'll see. Till then.